everyone, Kat here. Okay, let's be honest about Pokemon Sword and Shield. In comparison to other modern Pokemon games, the graphics are pretty good, but the story is less so. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, on the other hand, is infamous for its graphical errors, while the story is considered one of the series' best. But what if we could have all the good stuff together? That's right, I'm mashing together the storytelling of Gen 9 with the gameplay of Gen 8. Since it's now canon that Penny is Rose's niece, she's the protagonist in this story. She wakes up in Galar as a brand new trainer with a slightly different face. Her mom insists that she start the gym challenge, so she does, but mostly just to figure out where her dad and sister are. Her best bet is Sir Chester, where his gym used to be. She's got the grass badge in hand, and she's hoping she can shortcut through the wild area. But on the way there, her phone buzzes. Hey Penny, thought you were headed for Holberry next. Um, actually, I was thinking of heading to Hammerlock. Wait, so you got Kabu and Ness's badges already? You know you can't get into Hammerlock without them. B what? Why? Mm, regulations, I guess. Tweens are only allowed to travel alone as part of the gym challenge. So to enter Hammerlock, you either need to be an adult or have the fire badge. Which I can't get without the water badge. All right, exactly. Well... At least I can get some training out here to prepare for Nessa, I suppose. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. See you later. As long as she's come this way, Penny checks with the guard to confirm Hop's story. And sure enough... Mm, you don't have the fire badge yet. Can't enter without the fire badge. Mm -mm. Would you like me to take you back to the bridge at the Vodastoke Riverbank? Uh, no, thank you. Mm, got it. Well, don't push yourself too hard. Set up camp or something when you need a rest. Tch, no fire badge kids these days. Ugh, stupid rules. Adults these days. Penny does get plenty of training in. Makes it to Hallberry. Stops by the Pokemon Center. And as soon as she exits, she spots her Uncle Rose, his assistant Oleana, and this guy Bede, who she doesn't remember too well, but last time they talked, he sure seemed to remember her. Our sincerest apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. <clears throat> please leave now. Okay, see you later, Chairman. No need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. Oh, here. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Ugh. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. And what are you doing? Penny wants to know. Chasing them off like that. Aren't you being a bit too harsh, Oleana? Fans are important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Uh, oh, and you were... Bede looks pretty devastated at this question, though he covers it quick. Uh, uh, Bede, sir? Uh, that's right, Bede. <laughs> of course, I, I I dare say I'm impressed with how far you've come. I mean, since I gave you that Pokemon. All those years ago. So, will you be the one to win the gym challenge? Or perhaps it will be one of the trainers that our champion endorsed. I'll prove your faith in me was well-placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone. A anyway, I will be on my way now. Uh ah, and your name was... Uh, Penny. Right. We were just talking about you. I, I admit I'm curious about... Leon's reasons for endorsing you? Oh, I just had a good idea. 
as I tend to do. Tell you what, you're going to face the gym leader Nessa soon. Is that right? I yes. Well, if you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a little celebration. I'd like to get to know you a bit better after all. Chairman, we really should be going. Mm. <laughs> Please do your best. For the sake of Galar's future. There's that Galar's future thing again. The chairman will be heading to this town seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Do not keep him waiting. Okay, that was both weird and uncomfortable. I believe the chairman was quite clear. Get your water badge at once. Okay, just making sure he's all right. I mean, he barely recognized Bead and he barely recognized me. And I thought my memories were fuzzy. You must be a gym challenger, right? If you're looking for the gym leader, Nessa, she's off at the lighthouse. The lighthouse is, well, head towards the sea from here. You can't miss it. All right, I guess I can do that. It's not that far. And there she is. You must be a gym challenger, right? How did you know? You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, am I right? You've become something of a hot topic among us gym leaders. Here you go, Ms. Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more. And I'm itching for a battle with you. It's a statue of one of the Pokemon said to be guarding the lighthouse. I don't know if I'd say I'm itching for a battle, but I'm ready, I guess. Here we go. Oh, hey there. Thanks for rolling up to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I see you have a fishing rod. In that case, I have the perfect Pokeball for you. A lure ball. So, When's the right time to use a lure ball? Well, if you catch a Pokemon using your fishing rod. It's the absolute best Pokeball for Pokemon that live in the water. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, sure are. Hey, Gym Challenger, should we get you ready for the mission? <clears throat> Let's do it. Well, changing rooms over there. Now you're in your uniform. Head into the mission, and by the way, you can't use your Pokemon box link in there. Right, makes sense. Penny walks into the gym and sees a whole bunch of pipes everywhere, all painted a bright red, yellow, or blue. A puzzle, she thinks. No chasing Wooloo all over the place? Now this is a gym I can get behind. The Holberry Pokemon Gym's mission is this, a challenging maze, and you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing that red button over there, and I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. Now let the gym mission begin. Wow, you've got all the enthusiasm of gym leader Larry. Is this being live streamed? The first gym was. Huh? Oh, yeah, we don't do that here. Nessa insists it wouldn't be fair to challengers if they can just look up the solution on the internet. They can do that anyway. Penny thinks as she hurries up the stairs, trying to take in the big picture here. Oh, let's see. If I turn this. Yes, the water will flip on or off, depending on what it was said to before. It's binary. 
<laughs> Finally, a gym that speaks my language. She tries her best to keep focus with the sound of rushing water everywhere. And things are made even more difficult when her phone buzzes again. Penny, we need to talk. I'm a little busy here. What is it? <clears throat> it seems I may or may not owe you an apology. Oh? I spoke with Oleana. The chairman's memories of me are vague. And, well, he didn't seem to recognize you at all, his own niece. Is that right? I yeah. I see. By any chance, are your own memories unclear as well? I yeah, I thought that was obvious when I asked you what your problem is back in Modisok. Then this means... My role here is even more important. Your role? Yes, and yours is simple. Keep getting badges and make a name for yourself. Then, when the time is right, denounce the champion and endorse the chairman's cause. Uh-huh. Gonna need a good reason first. Got one on hand? <sighs> Oleana said I shouldn't fill too much in for you. It'll come back eventually on your journey. Make sure you're leveling your Pokémon properly. I'll be happy to take you on any time if you need a real challenge. And rest assured, Galar's future will be safe with us. Hmm, Oleana. I've gotten quite a few calls trying to come in from some mysterious person who I'm guessing is the one who sent me here. I wonder, could it be Oleana? She has the tech skills to hide her identity over the phone, at least. She's the one who taught me how to program. It would also explain why I haven't heard from that mystery caller lately. Oleana is right here, after all. She wouldn't need to call. Still, none of it quite seems like the type of thing she'd do. Penny is nearing the end of the puzzle. And in short order, she's got it solved. The last wall of water dries up. Not that it gives her much confidence. <sighs> I sure wish Nimona was here with her palmat. And Penny's battle for the water badge has started. Nessa's gym makes her particularly nervous because Unlike with her Flareon against Milo, there's no one on her team now who has a natural advantage against Nessa's water types. So she's had to make do with what she can get. Welcome, honored gym challenger. I think you already realize, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. However... No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. As the battle begins, she breathes deeply and tries to reassure herself about everything she's done to prepare. First, there was heading out into the wild area. True, she'd been initially hoping to go straight through to Hammerlock, but once she realized that wasn't happening, she did take some extra time out there for training. First, there were the Dynamax raids. When she'd had as many of those as she could take, she waited until dusk was just on the horizon before feeding her first Vivi, Vivi, one extra little piece of experience candy. Their friendship had already grown quite strong, and this tiny push initiated his evolution. Needless to say, he was quite pleased with the results. Sylveon, or Vivi, 
evolved quite soon after that. And as Penny had predicted, she took well to learning Magical Leaf. She could provide some solid defense in a pinch, not to mention she reminded Penny a little bit of how things were supposed to be. Next had come Nutmeg, the Squabbit. It seemed that watching his teammates evolve had inspired him to do the same. Penny's Porygon, Hex, was the first egg hatched when she got here. Hex has done well with Thundershock so far. But after working through Nessa's Goldeen and Arakuda, the digital Pokemon's stamina is clearly drying up. She brings out her ace for this battle, Nutmeg. Time for a change of tactics. Penny thinks as Nessa calls out some impressive catchphrases. Ooh, looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. But I've been saving the best for last. Penny is still working on her own catchphrases. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean! Dreadnought, time to Dynamax! Dynamaxing her Pokemon in front of all these people doesn't feel nearly as scary as it did the first time in Milo's gym. This is a little gift from us. Hope you can take it. And now it's the big moment. Time for Max Overgrowth. Oh! It looks like Max Overgrowth might have been Max Overkill, Penny says. Technically allowed, but the crowd is roaring so much, no one seems to hear her. And the camera crew is focused on Nessa for her reaction. Penny doesn't complain. <laughs> I may proudly be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. How? How can this be? Uh, now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit. Maybe even enough to challenge the champion. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next. Has you and your Pokemon are now. He'll definitely want to battle you. Right, and after that, I can finally get into Hammerlock. Penny, my most sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. Yeah, and now that you've won your water badge, I'll be watching to see just how far you and your Pokemon go. I'd really rather you not watch me personally. There's got to be other people who got their water badge. Go watch them. Miss Penny, do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. In case you do not already have one, I will give you one of his league cards. Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of the things he needs to right away. 
go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible, so as not to keep the chairman waiting. <sighs> Oleana's all about business as usual. She can be pretty nice when she's not in work mode, but that doesn't happen too often. All right, well, let's get to the restaurant. Quite a crowd there. Can I have an autograph? Chairman Rose! Ugh, starting to think I'm the only one in my family who doesn't love the spotlight. There they are. Um, welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. Your party... <laughs> is, uh, right over there. Thanks. Penny! <laughs> Let's celebrate your recent victory! Oh, you were invited too? Ah, you two know each other? <laughs> That's great! Uh, come now, come now. Please, be seated. Holberry is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. Uh, by the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know, Penny. As is Sonia, of course. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of the wishing stars. And how to use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. In fact, we never would have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry, and me too, if I'm honest. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. Ah, a power spot detector? <laughs> Sorry, Penny. That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. Yeah, I've heard of that. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. <sighs> if only there were something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history that's preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will, of course, arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we get going, Chairman. Mm hmm, but I've hardly had a chance to speak with Penny. Ah, well, I suppose it can't be helped. Here, take my number, and we can continue this talk over the phone when I have some free time. If there's something that needs to get done... There's no time like the present, as they say. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for more info on the legends, but... Sorry, you got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Ness is no small feat. Here, take this TM as a reward. Retaliate? Mm, are you trying to tell me something with this? Nessa is a good friend of mine. Mm, perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. Penny waves a quick goodbye, but not before adding Sonia's info to her phone along with her Uncle Rose's. Mate, you've got both the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? Yes, Hop, I do. 
Well, in that case, we're both headed for Modestoke and the Fire Gym Leader Kabu. Now, how about I share a little tip with you about that Leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine Number 2, undergoing some special training. If he's there, then we can't take him on in Modestoke, even if we zip right over there. Which puts the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say, we head to Galar Mine Number 2 ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Well, I guess I do need that badge. Okay, here we go. Pretty positive the mine was close by here. Do I get phone signal in there? Huh, guess I'll find out. Wait, what was... Thought I heard footsteps. Is someone else here? You again. Could say the same for you. You sure like hanging out in caves, huh? About that battle you promised? I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Hmm. Wimpod. <clears throat> then again, I suppose it is a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger first chosen by the chairman, would lose. And so the battle begins against Pokemon Trainer Bead. Okay, we can do this. We are not going to get crushed like last time. We are at least going to put up a fight. Hmm, looks like you've grown a bit, but only a little bit. Hex, return. That Porygon's new. I had it before. I just... didn't use it very well. Let's see, your psychic types hold up to this. Maybe you should think about using fairy moves. Oh, like this one. Yeah, exactly like that one. Your Pokemon are growing well. Same to you. Excellent. Not everyone can corner my team like this. Well, that training really did pay off. I think we're about to get a decisive win here. Not what I expected. And with one last crunch attack from Vivi, Pokemon Trainer Bead is defeated. <laughs> Which is clearly not how he expected this practice battle to go. Showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Your Pokemon did a wonderful job, too. All right, pardon me. It seems I need to take back my words. So, I'm not weak. You're not weak. You just lack talent. And your chances of completing the gym challenge are still pretty slim, I'd say. Here, I'll give you this. A little something, since you at least tried. Wait, are you rewarding me with your league card? Expecting potions? You're the chairman's niece. Get your own. Now... Where should I go next to collect wishing stars? I don't know, maybe you could expand from mines to caves? Or just, you know, general rocky places? Oh, you're genius. H hey, you said this part was your job. And I'm still not totally sure I even want to be helping you. I'm gonna give Sonya a call. I'd like to talk to at least... One person I know I can trust. 
She dials Sonia's number. However, before anyone can pick up... Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Cranky, but that's something. I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Oh, look at you, Penny. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? He'll even be showing up late pretty soon. Hey, joke on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer who will be your next champion? Oh, we got a joker here, huh? You're so funny I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them together, Penny. You're ready? <sighs> yeah, I guess. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be Yell-O. What does other kid have to come waltzing in here for, huh? I just wanted to knock off challengers one at a time. And so Penny and Hop are challenged by Team Yell Grunt and Team Yell Grunt. Not the most creative of names, but she's not one to judge. Hops Wulu comes in a little bit tired. He must have been doing some training right before this. Penny is hardly worried about this matchup. Though she does wish that Hop wouldn't talk about that champion endorsement so much. It obviously meant something serious to Bead. And Penny's not 100% sure, but... That girl Marnie seemed pretty upset with her back when they met at the opening ceremony. Maybe an endorsement like that means something serious to her, too. Penny both does and doesn't want to see her again. She hates confrontation, but she hates the unknown just as much. The battle ends extremely quickly. Are you gonna yell at us because we up and you lost? If I'd used a horn, but I've had a better chance of winning. Mugs the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. Y your older brother? Or do you mean Marnie's older brother? I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. <laughs> Look at him go. Nice one, Penny. Now then, where could Kabu have gotten off to? Well, let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Thank you for helping out with my training team, Yell, but I must say... It's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car call at work. We were getting in its way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did do a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scamper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That's Kabu! Man, he's awesome! No wonder he's the Fire-type gym leader! Ah, you the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Penny, am I right? I'm just training up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match. I specialize in Fire-type Pokémon, and the Water-type Pokémon in the Galar Mine number 2 are perfect opponents to train against. Uh, regardless, it's getting late. 
go straight once you get out of this mine, and you'll reach Modestook. Get a good rest at the hotel, and make sure you're both in top condition. Come on, Karkul. Time for you to head home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that lots of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up, too. Th that's, that's nice. Let's go. Okay, now that I'm hopefully clear of anyone else who wants to battle me, let's call Sonya. Oh, hi, Penny. Is there something specific you wanted to discuss? Uh, um, uh, uh... I was just wondering about, um... the restaurant. Restaurant? I yeah. When Uncle Rose talked about you being indebted to Professor Magnolia. It was so weird of him to bring up. I mean, who isn't indebted to the family that raised them? Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I'm guessing Hop told you I got lost in the slumbering wield a while back. It, yeah. It figures. He tells that story to anyone who will listen. It's a good cautionary tale, I suppose. He said you got an earful from Professor Magnolia afterwards. Maybe I did. The truth is, I was a mess when I came out of there. My memories were a total fog. For months afterwards, I was shaky. Always on edge, no appetite. The most random things would terrorize me. Especially the dark. Probably more info than you wanted, huh? Sorry to unload on you like that. And I guess the dark isn't that out of a fear. True. I don't mind the dark, but I can see total darkness being pretty scary, even to an adult. Thanks. You're a sweet kid. Appreciate your help while I work on this research. There's still some things that are foggy to me, even all these years later, but... I feel like this research is important. Well, in that case... I'll help however I can. She ends the call right as she reaches the hotel. And there's someone in the lobby waiting for her. Thought you'd come here, Penny? Uh, challenger Penny now, right? Out giving it your all. Even this late, huh? Okay, seriously, what can I do to get you to stop being mad at me? Do? Huh. Hey, help me out with something tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Which I guess means I'd better get to bed and rest up. You should get to sleep too. Morning, Penny. That friend of yours already went to challenge the next gym. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that Man of Fire Kabu chap, right? So why don't you get over to Moda Stoke Stadium? And get that gym badge. If you can. I thought you wanted to battle or something. No. Alright. I'll head out then.
Slow moving, aren't you, Penny? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. I nearly got burned in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Penny. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. Well, I did start with a water type, so... Hey, a gym challenger! That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many gym challengers since our leader, Kabu, went and made his gym mission so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready, but... Is this being live-streamed? Oh, uh, yeah, but, uh, well, it might be a little different this time. Just go on it. Hi, everyone. What is up? My name is Danielle, subbing in for our resident Dan, because half of our gym staff got sick, and he is just barely functional. Won't this be fun? So the gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. It takes five points to clear the gym mission. By the way, that's two points for catching a Pokemon, one point for beating it. And subbing in for one of our ill gym trainers, it's gym leader Pierre's little sister, Marnie. I hear her fans are super hyped to see her. I know I am. Anyway, her job is to make sure that our challenger, Penny, is not alone in this competition. And she will be joining her in her battles. So, Penny, think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up those points. Let the challenge begin. <laughs> Guys, that's your cue to put in the fiery color filter and the logo, the overlay. All right, now the camera isn't even focused on the challenger. Ch she's over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Our tech staff is also threadbare today. Hey, she found the ball fix. Sends out a drizzle. And it looks like our guest Marnie is sending out a crocogunk. <laughs> that logo might go in and out for a bit there. You folks at home watch the action, and I'm going to go have some words with some people. So this is where Marnie went. Didn't see that coming. Hmm, I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? Revenge? Hey, just because I don't want to fight doesn't mean I won't defend myself. Go, Nutmeg. Use Psychic Fangs. It it's Marnie, right? Why are you even attacking me? Uh, aren't we supposed to be competing over who captures Vulpix? Is this a gym challenge or just a, an excuse for a battle? If it was a battle, I'd feel awful to lose. But there's no way I'm gonna. Scraggy, low kick on the Vulpix. Uh, no, not the... Ugh. Okay, I am back on air and oh my word. Our gym trainer made the Vulpix faint. <laughs> is Challenger Penny really going to end this thing with naught? Guys, we really could bring in that logo now. Really? Really? Transition? There we go! There we go. Okay, we're gonna rotate the trainers. Don't worry, Challenger Penny. You still have a chance to win this. Please win this. I don't want to look responsible for your failure. Okay. Gotta get my head back in the game here. Let's see. If catching gets the most points, then I did get some interesting Pokeballs from the sellers out in the wild area. Okay, and she's found a sizzle bead. How will she approach this one? Oh, oh, that's that that is a quick ball. And and it stayed. Alright, okay. <laughs> well, she has earned herself two points, but still has three to go. Now she's faced with a Litwick.
She's thinking hard about her approach to this situation, and nope, nope, she's throwing another quick ball. We should probably ban those here. Listen, I know I told you to win, but not that easily. And she's back for another try at the Vulpix. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say, yeah, there's, there's the quick ball again. And it looks like she's passed. Uh, well, kudos for the creativity. Clearing Leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire, Penny. And next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. Now, on you go, challenger. Okay, let's get Cece healed up. And think this through. Different approach worked the first time, so maybe... Oh, that, that is Kabu right next to me. It's cool he walks out with the challengers, but it's also kind of nerve-wracking. Well, let's see what we can do. Welcome. I, of course, am Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass-type Pokémon and Nessus water-types, too. It's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokémon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. True potential. Well, that's something a Vivi trainer knows. And Penny is challenged by Gym Leader Kabu, who sends out Ninetales first. Okay, different approach. Well, if he's got three Pokémon, and there's three turns in a Dynamax, then... What if I Dynamax right away instead of waiting to the end? That could work, right? As long as he doesn't Dynamax until the end. We just have to make sure we hit hard enough every time. Alright, first turn is a success. And now the rain will help boost my other water type moves. Arcanine next. And they're known for being really, really fast. And second turn, too! You are on fire, Cece! Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu! There must still be a path to victory! Burn bright, Sentiscorch! Let Gigantamax change your size and your form! Ugh, giant bug, not a fan. And we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh no. It helped.
Hold on. Um. Wait, it's probably gonna attack, right? A sucker punch, now! We did it! Again! Maybe I can do this with this team. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will make a fantastic team. And so, let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the culture of the Galar region. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Penny! I figured if anyone could do it, you and your Drizzile would be the ones, but still, that match had me right on the edge of my seat. Excuse me. <clears throat> Challenger Penny. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> um, are you okay? Oh yeah, <clears throat> getting there. TM uniform. You know the drill. Hmm, I think what he's trying to say is, we can go to Hammerlock now. You know, with all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be all right, even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Penny waits a bit to let him get a head start. She's got some things to find out for herself, too. But at least for the first time since she unexpectedly woke up here, she feels like she's the one in control of what happens next. Okay, and that'll wrap up another episode. Thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. It really means a lot. I'll have the next one out as soon as I can. And until next time, happy reading and happy training.